What's going on world? Today I'm going to show you how to build the Media Center PC using Windows 8. Um, I'm going to show you the hardware that I have. I'm going to put the hardware together in front of you. I'll give you an explanation of what it is that I am doing. So with that being said, check the video out. Please most definitely subscribe. You really don't understand how much that support means to me. In order for you to subscribe, all you really need is a Gmail account. You don't necessarily need a YouTube channel. So if you're logged in on an Android phone or a tablet or a device that has a Gmail account attached to it, please click the subscribe button. And if you do have a YouTube and you're not logged in, log in and subscribe. I have a lot more coming as far as tutorials are concerned, a lot of ideas and stuff that I'll be sharing with you guys. So I definitely want you to subscribe. I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's get into the video and let's build this Windows 8 Media Center PC. This is my case. Um, I got a hard drive down here, one terabyte. I have a Blu-ray reader, DVD writer. Under it, I have a Wi-Fi, um, Wi-Fi card, a PC TV remote control kit, a mini ITX motherboard with drivers, and all that other good stuff. And here you see my cases taken apart. Um, and of course, I have some speakers. It's not the best. It's a 2.1 surround sound. It's cheaper than the 5.1 and the 7.1 but it will get the job done so that's why I chose that this board that I chose has an integrated processor that's the processor right here it's a dual core it's built in so it was cheaper for me to do it this way because buying a processor and then getting a board would have been a lot more expensive than doing it this way so, so I want to do that I want to put some memory on the board I usually put the processor on first, but since we already have a processor, just put the memory on the board. Be gentle. Snap the first side in. Snap the second side. Okay. Same thing. You want to make sure it's lined up correctly when you do it. Okay. I do have a foam thing under my motherboard. This protects it. This here protects the motherboard from uh, static, just like this bag. And I'll keep that under it. And I'm also building it on top of a box. You have to take this part here and put it into the back of the case of the computer. So This here is the back to the computer. When you put it on the motherboard, it lines it up correctly. Lines up the motherboard correctly in the back of the case. And of course, when you get it to sit properly, you gotta hit it with some screws. I'm going to first screw in. Perfect. Okay. Voila. I have the motherboard inside the case, as you can see. And this is a mini ITX board. It's one of the smallest boards you can get. It's very small. This is a Toshiba 1 terabyte drive. That's a 1,000 gigs. And that should be more than enough to, you know, watch movies and maybe... Put a couple movies on a hard drive or something like that. This came with a hard drive bay. Put the hard drive in. This hard drive bay slides in here. Now with this computer, you just slide the hard drive in here. Get it working, then you can take the magnetized one out and use the big one. Once again, you only want to tighten it until it gets tight. There you go, it's tight. That way, you don't strip it. There's no need to go any tighter than that. You want to plug in the USBs, 
So uh, that's what we're going to do now. <clears throat> we have two here. These are audio. One is AC97 and one is HD audio. I want to use the HD audio. You find it on the motherboard which one is it. You'll know which one it plugs into because you can see here, see the gray thing? The gray thing is there so you can't plug it in on that particular part. So when you go to the motherboard, you'll see one that matches up where there's no pin to plug in at that part. And that's how you know where it goes. So you plug that in there. In most cases, it will say HD audio on that part. Okay, and I have a USB in the front. Well, I have two USBs. And I have two USB slots there. So I'm going to use both of them. Same thing. The USBs have a place that you can't plug them in. That's how you know which way you plug them in. Because there's a part where nothing can plug in at all. Okay. I got my two USBs plugged in. If I do this one. Okay, now I'm going to let you see what that looks like. Uh, my audio is here. The HD audio, I got it plugged in there. And my two USBs are here. Um, and they will control this in the front. They will control this. So if I plug something in, like headphones or something, if I go to plug in some headphones or, or a microphone, it will interact with my HD audio and my four USB ports will interact with the two slots I just plugged in on the motherboard so we're almost done I'm put the Wi-Fi in Wireless in, baby. See how massive the antenna is. It's going to be a real good signal. Okay. Time to plug in the buttons. Of course, you want to be able to turn the power on. Uh, this is the power light, the light on the front of your computer. This is, well, you know what? Yeah. Power LEDs, two different versions. Have a big one and a small one. You have a reset switch, the hard drive light here, and you have a power switch when you turn the computer on. And as you can see, as you can see, they are color coded, so you can tell the difference. Uh, because that is important and this is my speaker when you get down in here it says everything that you need to know like one will say speaker that's that one that's where my speaker goes uh, my hard drive LED goes on this one my power LED goes on this one here Power switch goes right here, and then the reset button goes in the front. Okay. You can see all of my wiring right here. That's the power button and the reset switch and all of that stuff. CPU power right here. 
motherboard power here. Data cables. I'm going to go to the motherboard and plug in the, the SATA 1, which is the first channel. Plug that in and make that the hard drive. Okay, clickly click. And uh, SATA 2, I'm going to make that one the Blu ray reader. Plug in the data cable. Okay, folks. Bill, uh, you saw me put in. The data cables, the USB cords, the expansion slot, you know, for my Wi-Fi, the back plate, so it holds the motherboard in, the motherboard, I didn't put in a power supply because it was already one in there, put the hard drive in, put the reader, the Blu-ray reader, it's built, now we just got to load it up with the softwares, uh, we got to put Windows 8 on there, utility disk, uh, BIOS disk and uh, software from the PC TV kit, and we're good to go. So that's what we're going to do.